الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله It's important that the believer strives to earn a lawful livelihood to eat from lawful substance uh, a lawful food the halal and to avoid being criminal like and criminal behavior and causing harm to others and harming their honor taken from their wealth and shedding their blood these are the characteristics of the movement is that they avoid these things that they are not into criminal behavior and they take from lawful earnings and they spend in lawful earnings and from what Allah has provided them they spend listen to this hadith عن جندب رضي الله تعالى قال سمعت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول من سمع سمع الله به يوم القيامة قال ومن يشاق يشكك يشكك الله عليه يوم القيامة فقالوا بوسينا فقال إن أول ما ينطن من الإنسان بطنه فمن استطاع أن لا يأكل إلا طيبا فليفعل ومن استطاع أن لا يحال بينه وبين الجنة ملأ كفة من الدب أهرقه فليفعل رواه خاري In this hadith of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وسلم It was reported on the authority of Jundub رضي الله تعالى عنه That he heard the message of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم saying Whoever does a good deed in order to show off, Allah will expose him on the day of resurrection. And whoever puts the people into difficulties, Allah will put him into difficulties on the day of resurrection. They said, advise us. He said, the first part of the human body to petrify is the abdomen. So whoever is able to eat nothing but good uh, good food, let him do so. And he who does as much as he can so that nothing intervenes between him and paradise by not shedding even a handful of blood, let him do so. Ruahu Bukhari. In this hadith, the hadith of Jundab radiallahu ta'ala an, he informs us that the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that whoever performs a good deed simply in order to oppress the people, will have his intentions exposed to the people by Allah So that's the first point of this hadith, is that when you make ibadah to Allah do everything possible to purify your intention. The Prophet said, Verily, actions are tied to the intention. And everyone should get for that, get that which he intended. So this hadith of Jundub also affirms for us that we will receive what we intended. If you wanted good by the act of kindness and khayr that you did in your salat and your preaching and your da'wah and whatever that thing is that you were striving to do, then you will receive the reward of that goodness. Either in this life or the hereafter or in both. However, the person who does those good actions in order to show off, in order to please the people, in order to gain status, in order to be heard of, then their reward will be with the people and their punishment will be with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is affirmed for us in another hadith of the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam, where the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam said, إِنَّ الْأَوَلَ النَّاسِ يُقْضَى عَلَيْهِ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامِ رَجْلٍ مُسْتُشْهِدًا وَقُتِيَ بِهِ فَعَرَّفُهُ نِعْمُهُ فَعَرَّفَهَا قَالَ فَمَا مَلْتَ فِيهَا قَالَ قَتَلْتُ بِكَ حَتَى اسْتُشْهِدًا قَالَ كِذَّبْ وَلَكِنَّكَ فَعَلْتَ لِي قَالْ هُوَ هُوَ جَرِيد فَقَدْ فِيلْ ثُمَّ هُمِرَ بِهِ فَصُحِبَ لَوَجِهِ حَتَى لِكِفِ النَّارِ So the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam mentioned in a very long hadith the three people on the some of the first people on the day of judgment who will be judged and one of them is a martyr. And he will be asked, what did you do for my sake? 
and he will say, I fought for your sake and I was killed. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say, you lied, or rather you did it so that the people would say you were a martyr, and they said, or that you were brave, and they said this, and then he will be thrown in the hellfire. So his reward for showing off and not doing this great act of ibadah will actually be a cause for him to fall on his face and be punished in the hereafter. The second part of this hadith shows us that the importance of not putting difficulties upon the people, that whenever you have people uh, under your authority, whether it be your family, whether you be in a position of leadership, whether you be the imam, whatever the case may be, that you should strive your utmost to be gentle with the people and not be difficult and harmful towards the people. Another benefit of this hadith of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is we also learn the importance of halal food. That it's very imperative that the believer eats from the halal and earns halal and spends in halal. And may Allah bless him with tawfiq in that. Ameen ya Rabbil Alameen. Another benefit of this hadith is that this hadith shows us it forbids us uh, of performing good deeds in order to impress the people. The second thing is it shows us that the one who shows off will be exposed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and on the day of judgment. The third benefit of this hadith is it affirms for us that Yom al Qiyamah does exist, that there is a, a Jannah and there is a Nar and there is a day of judgment that will all be held accountable for our deeds. Another benefit of this hadith, it shows us the prohibition of being making things difficult for the people, that instead we should be easy with the people and gentle with the people, and that this is the asr, this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala intends for us. And this was the sunnah of the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Another benefit of this hadith, is this hadith shows us the importance of eating from the halal, as we mentioned, and also to avoid the haram, and lastly, to avoid bloodshed, to avoid spilling the blood of the people. So this should be a stern warning to those people who are involved in evil activity and causing facade in the land by doing what they do and spreading evil. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.